Once you have installed Mroto AI Cinematic Pack, it can be located in your effects under Mroto AI Expansions. As you can see here, we have multiple options, broken glass, depth of field, double exposure, etc. We do have 30 of these, and so let's dive into how these work. They are all going to work basically in the same way. So in this one, let's say we have this great shot, but we really are wanting to get a different feeling and we want it to be kind of hazy and misty outside. So for this example, we are going to use haze. To apply, simply click and drag onto your clip. And then of course you are going to have the familiar Mroto AI tools here. Now with this one, I'm going to actually move down in my timeline because you can see she pulls her phone out of her pocket and we want to make sure that we are going to include that. So just to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and move our playhead down. I'm going to change my precision from fast to accurate because I do want this to be as accurate as possible. And then we're just going to click and we're gonna drag so that we can select this person as they are walking. All right, now that we have that selected, we're gonna open our tracker. We can go ahead and track backwards and then we will track forwards. All right, now that that is complete, we are going to go and change our output from merge to mask video, and then you can immediately see a difference. Now, the great thing about Emroto AI expansions is that now that that has been masked, you can see that she is in front of this kind of haze here. The good thing is too, if you really wanna check, you can just come down to your mask color adjustments and you can turn that off and then you can really see the difference. You can turn the blur off if you want. So there you go, she's nice and sharp in the foreground. I personally kind of like the blur. I like the color adjustments. I think they're a little bit strong for this. So I'm going to actually bring my adjustments mix down quite a lot because I still want her to kind of be vibrant there. But that quickly, you can see that we've been able to create this kind of oh, fog haze look there in our shot we can turn off animations in and out of course and then that way you would never know that she wasn't walking in this very foggy hazy looking shot here the other cool thing about this is we have this background color adjustment so let me toggle that off and you can see if we did want to retain the color and stuff we could definitely do so it's not just going to wash everything out or you could come and make some adjustments there to your color adjustments you can make adjustments to your blur of course as well so there it's nice and sharp if you wanted it the fog opacity it just goes on and on and again, this is how all of these are going to work. So you just apply and then you're going to have all of your adjustments beneath. All right, and that's it. Thank you so much for checking out this quick tutorial on Mredo AI Expansion's Cinematic Pack. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.